And welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. And I'm Sean Edwards. And uh, all you guys who weren't tuned in because you had to watch the commercials, you just missed the most fantastic political version <laughs> of the screening room. But back to the movie. <laughs> but back to the movies. Russ, it's actually a fun weekend this weekend. I, I think so too. Minions, our, The Rise of Gru is the fifth movie in the hit animated Despicable Me franchise. The kids are already tuned in, as yeah. you know. But the makers of this origin story cleverly placed the action in the 1970s to give adults a KG nostalgia hit. You know, we learn how Gru met the Yellow Fellows and how he fulfilled his aspirations to become a great villain. It's fast, funny, and appealingly goofy. Minions, The Rise of Gru hits that family-friendly sweet spot. I agree with everything you just said. The Minions, The Rise of Gru, Russ, is the perfect combination of frantic animation, terrific storytelling, albeit not much of a plot, but who cares, and slapstick comedy. The energy is infectious. It's a very fun vibe that will entertain all ages. This franchise discovered its secret sauce long ago, and they continue to stick with what works, delivering new and interesting slices. Yes, I love the nostalgic feel as well and grew. I'm always here for Steve Carell's backstory plays both fresh and familiar. Sure, it's loud and silly and populated with cheesy songs from the 70s, but somehow it all works. Some movies are just meant to be fun. Four popcorn bags. I agree, four popcorn bags. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Some movies are just fun. Yeah, well, this one's fun too. It is. The likable period romance, Mr. Malcolm's List, plays like a long lost Jane Austen story. In 1800s England, a landed gentleman is the object of a revenge plot mm -hmm. when he's discovered he's employing a strict list of requirements for searching for a bride. Frida Pinto and Chope Dirasu lead an engaging and diverse cast. Fans of Bridgerton yeah. may want to add Mr. Malcolm's list to their viewing list. I agree 100%. And Russ, I love this movie for numerous reasons. It's basically a mashup combining elements of Georgian era romance and a contemporary rom-com with great effect. It also features, like you said, a diverse cast who excel at every level. It's the colorblind casting that will have people comparing this film to Bridgerton, Hamilton, or the personal history of David Copperfield, which is a good thing. However, Mr. Malcolm's list has enough going on for it to be able to Hold its own. It's often funny, sometimes a bit snarky, and maybe at points a tad too dark in spots. But Russ, the film never abandons its premise. I really wanted to avoid saying something dumb and cliche, but you should really add this film to your list. Three popcorn bags for me. I'm going four popcorn bags. It's a lot of fun. Hey, and you know what, Sean? You're oh, working yeah, on a new right. project, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm always working on a new project because I'm insane. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's what I do. And next up for me and the Kansas City film community is the Celebration of Black Cinema Young Filmmakers series. It's coming this August at the Screenland Armor. We will showcase feature films and documentaries produced by some of Kansas City's hottest young filmmakers. Yes, we're looking for the next Spike Lee, Gina Prince, Bythewood, and Jordan Peele. Uh, we got a couple of films, one called Showdown, directed by Chuck Brown, and Drought 2, directed by Isaiah King. They're already queued up. This joint partnership is a part of the Black Movie Hall of Fame and the Critics' Choice Association. So uh, support local. More details on the Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page. But hey. Looking forward to it. All right. Thank you. But Nick, yeah. Carrie, trust us. This is a fun weekend to go to the movies. I, you know we, haven't said, we haven't said that in a long time. It's a, uh, it's a really true. fun weekend to go to. The you don't movie. hear that and from it, him very no. often. <laughs> and you know what? I don't. I don't. We don't often see both of you agree on right. movies like you have in these pair of movies that you're, you. You know, you, from time to time you agree, but I, I think you guys are more on opposite ends sometimes uh -huh. than, than, yeah. than, than than together. So, but not this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good bet for everybody. Yeah. All right. The minions just keep winning, man. The minions can't, can't go wrong. With you can't the go wrong with the minions. I know it. All right, Sean and Russ, thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, Carly.